Hi everyone, it's Jamie again with homeschool.com's homeschooling tip of the month for May. And this month, I want to give everybody the encouragement to not stop learning this summer. Whether you're concerned about your students staying home during the quarantine, or you just don't want to experience the summer learning slide, either way, learning during the summer can be a great option. So for the month of May, we want to give you four ways you can start planning your summer learning experience. First of all, toss the word school. Don't even use it. Don't even use homeschool. Let's just say we're gonna have some learning fun during the summer. We know all kids look forward to summer break. And so we want to make this learning time that we're gonna incorporate into our summer as fun as possible. Tip number two, don't forget to take a break. Even though we wanna continue learning during the summer, we still need time to take a break. Mom needs a break, dad needs a break, the kids need a break. So make sure you take a week here, maybe in the middle of the summer, maybe near the end. Just take time to have fun, to enjoy yourselves, to make memories as a family. Tip number three, make sure to have lots of fun incorporated into your days. So yes, we wanna keep learning during the summer, but that doesn't mean that we have to do our regularly scheduled homeschool workbooks every single day, or we have to complete this huge amount. No, no, stop. Make your summer learning look completely different than your regular school year learning. So if you're learning during the summer, use different ways, be creative, incorporate something new that you might not have tried yet. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as your children are still learning a little bit, it can be loads of fun. And then tip number four for May's homeschooling tip of the month is to let your kids plan some of their activities. That's right, that helps us as parents not to have to think of all of the cool fun ideas. You can throw it out there and let your kids be responsible to think of a few things that they want to do that's super fun and will also double as a learning experience during the course of the summer. We hope you enjoyed our homeschooling tip of the month for May. Check back at homeschool.com for more great resources and tips for summer learning. If you've enjoyed this video and our other videos on our YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit that like button below to give us some love. Thanks.